This video is brought to you by Squarespace. When it comes to websites, online stores, etc., there's no place to build a beautiful online presence like Squarespace. How's it going, everybody? It's me, Kitchen. Today, we have something very fun planned. I'm going to be doing a tier list, which is something I've never done before. We're going to be doing it for production company opening logos. There's got to be a better way to sum that up. And I have my tier list up here that I, I loaded in earlier today. And we're going to run them down, see which of them are the best, which of them are the worst, because I think there's an art to the production company opening that people do not take into consideration. So let's start with 20th Century Fox. What I admire about 20th Century Fox is that they've stayed very consistent over the years. They, they've changed it a little bit. They've made their modifications. But for the most part, the logo, the, the concept has stayed the same. And it's always been this really weird but very dramatic opening. And it's a classic. I don't think it's one of the best ones, but it's certainly a good one in my opinion. I mean, it gets you ready for the movie. We're going to throw it in at a tier. Next up, we have the original Walt Disney Pictures logo. The original is pretty fantastic, in my opinion. It, it's it's simple. It's got the castle. It's got the wonder. That blue that they use in the background is so unique. It's a little dated. It's a little dated, but it adds that sense of nostalgia. It's like they kind of knew what they were doing when they made it. They knew that this would be nostalgic for the people that were growing up on it. I don't know if that's actually something they took into consideration. I can see why they would update it and try to modernize it, but I think this one is so simple and charming, and maybe that's just because I grew up on it. I Because there's gonna be a lot of good ones here, I, I wanna be kind of picky with what gets in the higher tiers. So I'm gonna put this one in B. I know, hey, listen, there's a lot of good ones here, and I don't know if it is on the same level as what we have coming up. Summit Entertainment. Do I even know what they do in that one? I have to have seen that at some point, but I that felt like the first time I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That's It wasn't great. It, it's very forgettable. I think the text is generic. The music is generic. It's, it's like there's nothing that original about Summit Entertainment. It's pretty bad. We're going to put it in the E tier. Next up, we have A24. And I know this this one comes with some baggage. I know it's it's iconic. It's the kind of logo where people, for some reason, cheer for when it pops up on screen. It does have a sense of like oomph to it, you know, when you see it. I don't know if it's the best logo opening, that is. Um, I, I don't know if it's the best one. It's, it's honestly just pretty average. I mean, I like the colors. I like the like flickering aspect of it. I like how smooth it comes in. It's got like the choppy frame rate, which is very Vox. I, the thing about it is that it, it has all of these very like modern contemporary aesthetics to it that I, I don't know if it's going to age necessarily well. There's no sound, which is, I think, it, I think it may be one of the only ones here without any sound. Yeah, you know what? I'll give it B tier. It's not the special thing we hold it up to be. I'll be honest. All right, now we have Marvel. Now, the Marvel opening is one of my least favorite things. When I first saw Black Panther, which is, like, I think, the first time I saw this new updated version where they, like, throw in the other characters from the movies, I immediately was just like, that is so ugly. It's, it's hideous, and it, like, kind of breaks the whole you're here to see Black Panther thing. It makes it so it's... It's immediately right off the bat like, hey, by the way, this movie is not just a movie. It's part of like a large product. I am going to eat these words later on, but I, I don't think characters from other movies in that production company should be in the thing that, that is before all the movies. I think the font is ugly. I think the red is is ugly <laughs> it's not my thing it's not my thing and i'm i'm sorry i'm gonna put it in the f tier and i don't even hate marvel like that but i hate their production company opening next up we have i don't even who is she again <laughs> columbia i want to say i think it's columbia see this is one of many that is like Sure. It kind of blends in with uh tristar it's like oh we're in the clouds there's a sun why did that become a thing? As far as those openings go, I, I do think this is one of the more iconic. It's not It's not bad. Um, it's not great. I, I think I'm just going to put it in C tier for now. Nothing special. Next up, we have the cri the Criterion opening. This is a bit of a stretch, but you know, I it's something I think we're all familiar with. Mm, I'm going to say it, it's a worse version of the A24 one, where it's, it's the no sound, like simple, like you're watching the logo form. It's fine. It's not bad. You could probably make this in After Effects in like an hour. No, that's a D tier. That's a D tier. I just think it could be cooler. I know that it's like trying to not get in the way and it's just supposed to be the, the stamp of approval. It's due for an upgrade. That's what I'm trying to say. Next up, we have the DC opening, which I, I put it in here. I don't even know what that looks like. Yeah. Okay. I found it. It's not good. It's the same thing with Marvel where I'm like, okay, we get it. 
you've made the superhero movies. And and I don't know, I, I feel like I want something more than that. I'm putting it in the F tier just because it follows a lot of the same things as Marvel, and in all honesty is, is less original, which I did not know was possible. Except we have the new Disney logo. I like the music a lot more. It's got one of the better pieces of music put to it, but when it comes to Disney at least, I get a more magical charm in, in that older one. So for this one, we're just gonna go a tier lower. It's not bad, it's not awful. It's gonna be right next to Columbia. Next we have DreamWorks which is one of the best. It's a it's a boy on the moon. He's fishing. Get, get out of town. It kind of is like everything you know about the world, throw it out the door because you're about to have your mind blown. I love a logo where they can kind of like play with it no matter what, depending on which movie it is. We're putting it in the S tier. That's a DreamWorks is, is one of the best. It's one of the most iconic. Focus features, very simple. Focus features, you associate that with like some really good movies. Well, by the, uh, Oscar bait movies. They're good. I like focus features. It's it's like, it's not, it's doing the bare minimum. <laughs> it's visually appealing. Um, I, I think it's it's one of those that will age really well. It's very simple. It, it's introducing film terms, focus. You know, we're putting it in the C tier because it's nothing that special but it's like pretty good you know it's pretty good say what you will about warner brothers but i i'm i'm just gonna throw them up in s tier already i think that logo and that opening the the amount of times it's been morphed and like change the, the times that they've changed the style of it i really love it I, I love what they do with such a simple logo in the clouds and i think that if we're talking the sky logos that's one of the best ones it's iconic and, it, and it's simple, it's not getting in, it's not doing too much. It's not doing too little. It's Warner Brothers. It's Warner Brothers. Next we have Studio Canal. I love Studio Canal. And, and I put this one in there because it jumps out at you. Like you kind of remember this one. The music and like the, the lighting and the lens flare coming out of the aspect ratio, the font choice, the way it just kind of like gracefully moves through the colors. God, it's a, it's a sexy one. It's sexy, I'm not gonna lie. I'm putting it in A tier. I don't think it, it's as iconic as these, so I, I can't see myself putting it in S, but it is definitely one of the better production company openings. Next we have Illumination Entertainment. Let's let's just see what this is all about. No, no, absolutely not, absolutely not. If, if you know, you know. This is ripping off Pixar. It's a little guy comes into a room and then it's everywhere and then the logo forms. The simple lighting, lighting up the, the Illumination Entertainment is not enough. It's, it's boring, frankly. And the whole appeal is that it's just like, bah! which is every Illumination movie. So I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna put that one in F tier. That's mean, let's, let's do E, let's do E. I included HBO. I know it's not a movie thing, but I included HBO because it's iconic. I mean, it's one of the best it's, it's got a very original thing about it. And it kind of acknowledges that, you know, we're working in TV here. You got the TV static, but because it, it is such like a, a strong like statement at the beginning, it makes it out to be like, this is more than TV. This goes past your expectations with television. Like we, we break through the static and this is HBO. So I really love the HBO opening. Fuck it, actually, I'm giving it S. It's like a very simple sound, but it, it still remains so in our ears. You know, we, we all know what it sounds like. I love HBO and they don't have to change shit. They can, they can stay with that one for as long as they want. It'll always be what it is. All right, Lionsgate, another, another one in the sky. Let's give this a, a gander. Yep, and then it's Lionsgate. This is hilarious. It crosses off like every cliche, the lighting, there's the color blue. It's so generic and not in a way that that is like charming like the new Walt Disney or the the Columbia. It's just generic in a in a boring, forgettable way. It looks kind of cheap. It's definitely like below average. It 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 is a solid D. Film 4. Film 4 is is interesting. I, I always, when it starts playing during a movie, I'm, I always forget what this opening logo is. I'm like, where are we going? And then I'm like, oh, we're going down downstairs for some reason. <laughs> I don't really have a big opinion. It's unique, I guess. Just C tier. Why not? Why not? Miramax. Now, Miramax is solid. They form the logo with the lights. We, the citizens, form Miramax. We are Miramax, I guess. It's okay. It's it's nothing great. It is it is pretty special. I, you don't see it anymore. I wonder why that is. I like the piano. It's, it's a nice tune. I'll go B. I like the Miramax opening. Now, Neon is a great opening. This might be controversial because it's it's kind of like so simple that it could piss people off. It's just a nice like, it's like the electrical buzzing and then it's like D -d 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 -d. That's my impression. It's in a weird room where I'm like, where, where does this take place? But it always sets 
the tone for the movie. You're just like, this is one of our movies. We're going to get out of the way so that the film can take care of the big stuff. It's unique. I like the red. It, it's it's a good version of the red that Marvel could never do. I'm putting it in the A tier. Putting Neon in the A tier. All right, Netflix. And when it comes to Netflix, we are talking about the new logo. The one that's like... <laughs> I know this one is kind of controversial and a lot of people don't like this one, but I I don't mind it. Even the few times I've seen it in a theater, which is always funny. It's always funny. I think all the lights like coming at you and the colors, you know, it, it's, it looks kind of satisfying. There's a re, like we all know the sound, you know, and it's rare to have such an iconic sound today. Like they're doing it today. Good for Netflix. Good for them. We'll go B. We'll go B. It's, it's not like the best thing in the world. It's not on these guys' levels. So I feel weird putting it up there, but yeah, it's like, we know it. We like it. The lights are good. Next up, we have Paramount, which is another very generic one. I don't know, it's a mountain, right? Oh my God, because Paramount, Mount. All right. I like the stars when they like surf in and then form the, the thing, you know, that's always cool. It's okay. I mean, it's it's a C, it's a C. It's the, There's nothing that special about it. Pixar, let's just not even fucking, don't even. Pixar, like, I will talk about it. Fine, I'll talk about it. It is one of the greatest production company openings ever. I mean, I might as well like put everything else a step down and put Pixar in its own thing. It's simple, it's catchy, it's like kind of lighthearted. It does not need an upgrade ever. I'm sure they have upgraded it. I, I haven't really noticed because it's just, you don't even care. Like it doesn't have music, but it's got like a, it's got like a rhythm to it, you know? <laughs> in such a simple, cute way, nails the, the mission of the company in like bringing objects to life, looking at the world in a fun, lighthearted way. That's Pixar. Okay, Tristar. <sighs> now I've seen this one before. I'm not gonna act like this is my first time seeing it, but watching it again kind of won me over. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so it's just like, it, the camera doesn't move. It stays in place, but but this, this Pegasus just appears. And then it's just like Tristar and I don't know, there's something kind of kind of lighthearted about it. It's very much its own thing, but I think of all the sunset cloud ones that we've seen, I guess besides Warner Brothers, this is probably the best one. Um, just because it, it gets campiness of that, like we're in the clouds, get out of town. I would, I'm gonna go B. I, I don't think it's, it's that good, but it definitely is a step above the others that we've seen. Okay, Universal, this is gonna get me in trouble. I am not a big fan of the Universal one. Not the not the old one, not the new one. Do, 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 do. Boom, boom. Just like generic to me. I'm like, what does this mean? What are, what are you actually trying to say with this opening? Like what, the world? Everything? I get that they're like, they, these movies are for everybody. It's, it's, a, it's an everybody movie, but I always feel like a little just whatever going into a movie if the Universal logo plays, even though it's supposed to be so much more. It's supposed to be everything. It's supposed to be the world. We're past the sky. We're in space space god damn it yeah i'm gonna go d that's gonna get me in trouble it's gonna get me in trouble but you know did what i had to do the mgm logo which is hilarious i really like this one i i hate to keep throwing things in s but i think we're gonna put mgm in s tier because that is like such a funny idea whoever pitched it was, who was just like we're just gonna have a, a lion growl at the audience <laughs> like, and like I, I i just really like that I like how they got a real lion to go in the little circle. I don't know, it's stuck. I think it's fancy. I think there's a, there's a certain level of prestige that comes with it. Yeah, I, I really like the MGM one. I'm not gonna lie, but we're gonna, we're gonna throw that one in S. Now I'm gonna invest in this one early because I know a lot of you may have forgotten to put this one in your own tier list, but I'm putting Jordan Peele's Monkey Paw Productions in here because when I saw Nope, I was blown away by how good of an opening that was. Just the, the stop motion of it, the, the whole, the, the monkey tying into Nope, the teacup from Get Out. Ooh, I love it. I love it. It's so good. It's unique. I know it's going to be iconic already, even though we've only seen it a few times. Throwing it in A tier. It's one of those that's just so well made. Like, it's just going to keep getting better. And lastly, we have the Studio Ghibli opening, which is... Well, <laughs> I don't, I think it's a great one. Let's just put it in A tier while, we, while we're here. Just put it in A tier. I don't think it's S tier because again, it, it's not, it could be a little bit more than that. The color blue, it's the perfect shade of blue. It is the perfect shade of blue. I wish there was some animation though. I wish there was like an animation to it, not just a still image. Looking at it now, I'm like, damn, that is, that could go over poorly for a lot of people. But that's what this channel is all about, man. S starting a dialogue making people talk, but thanks for watching. Uh, go, uh, <laughs>
I don't know what you're supposed to do. Do something, inform your own opinion, and before you head out. Hey, it's me again. I want to thank this week's sponsor, Squarespace. Now, Squarespace, if you didn't already know, is a place where you can go online to build your brand, whether that be an online store, a blog, a portfolio, you name it. They have professional portfolio designs where you can create galleries for your work, as well as password protected pages for clients. Me, personally, I'm a big fan of their video block feature, which allows me to showcase some of my favorite films and videos in a way that looks really nice. Plus, they have a built-in mobile web designer where your website is going to look great no matter what platform it's on while still matching your style. The best part about it all though is that if you go to squarespace.com slash Carson, you can get 10% off of your first purchase. So thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.